There has been a hurricane warning here on Kauai for the last couple days. It's called Hurricane Douglas. It's supposed to be coming through here tonight. We've gotten flash flood warnings, tropical storm warnings, but now it's upgraded to a hurricane level one warning. And we've been told to bring in all of our things into our house, like from the yard and stuff, because according to the news, where the hurricane is gonna touch land is Kauai. So either way, whether we're like in the center of it or not, the winds are gonna be like 80 miles per hour. I've never experienced anything like this before i'm like scared but at the same time i'm like trusting in god all of this is part of his plan we're just like really praying and trying to keep as positive as possible while not being stupid and preparing so we're like tying everything up in the backyard we've got like the table we took off all the pieces everything is like zip tied and bungee cord together we locked up the bikes to the gazebo everything's attached and tied down to the gazebo <laughs> Honey's bent. A hurricane fish? Yeah. We put everything like under the house. We like tucked everything away back here, like the barbecue and stuff. Hopefully this is good enough. We have like no idea what to anticipate, how strong it's gonna be. I mean, maybe by the end of the day, they might even like decrease it to another trop to a tropical storm. I don't know, but we're putting things into the shed. We're also in quarantine, so like we're not allowed to leave the house and like go and get supplies. So fingers crossed that we are safe. I mean, obviously if shit hits the fan, like we're gonna find somewhere where we can be as safe as possible. But right now our plan is to stay at home. Honestly, we'd have to be inside anyway, so might as well have a hurricane while we're inside. Wiley is chilling. He's eating some homemade chips. I baked some corn tortillas and strips for him because we didn't have any them? snack foods. You ate them all. <laughs> this is what they look like. More now. There's no more. More, please. Honey, I don't have any more tortillas. More. Okay, I'll figure something out. <laughs> He's mad at me right now because I've been keto and we've been in quarantine and we haven't been able to go to the store and everything I've been asking his grandma for has been like healthy and he has no snack food so he's throwing a fit. But right now we're gonna watch a Disney Channel movie. Disney Motocross, I'm so excited. You can press play, baby. I haven't seen this movie since I was like a young girl. Okay, so they just sent me an emergency alert on my phone. It says activating all sirens and the emergency alert system shortly for a hurricane warning. Erickson screwing on the gazebo. It wasn't even screwed down. <laughs> this is turning into something. I've never been part of like a natural disaster. Holy shit. Oh my God, the sirens are going off. It's like a practice. That's the landlord screwing down the gazebo. Good thing we checked. Sirens are really going. But I guess since this only category one, that's just like shitty buildings like will be ruined. It's more like a category four, or category five, which was like Hurricane Katrina. So it shouldn't be like that bad, but also, Shouldn't be like stupid and not care. So, oh my God, I just got another emergency warning. Hurricane warning, Kauai. Prepare now, impact imminent. Holy shit. This is crazy. It's crazy to me how thinking of the natural disaster, it's like, it's like, give me an excuse to cheat on my diet. Oh my God, see, that's my inner fat girl. I have problems. Mm. Look who's awake. Did you have a good nap? You want to tell everyone how you're almost crawling? She's so close to crawling. It's insane. I filmed her earlier, like, rolling around with Ben. Oh, my gosh. It's the cutest thing. Be my friend. Asking for a kiss.
she can like get across the floor but it's like in this like very like inchworm kind of way it's not like quite a crawl but she's so close she's grown up so fast I'm still waiting patiently. But we're both freaking starving. No sign of the storm yet. But we're eating lamb and Brussels sprouts. Well, we're not eating it. While Leia's making it, I'm not doing anything. Lamb roast, Brussels sprouts. Yum. This is like my favorite meal, lamb and Brussels sprouts. It's like the most amazing combination. Especially when you cook the lamb with the Brussels sprouts. All the fat from the lamb just like... Ugh. So good. So good. So good. So he's gonna put that in and I agreed with Wailea that if it does hurricane pretty hard and we're like stuck inside, that I'll carb with him with my favorite snack food. And let's not lie, I'll probably be eating those by 8 p.m. I wanna be keto, I wanna be skinny, but I also really like Doritos. <laughs> Calling this the Last Supper for Hurricane Douglas. Here is my medium rare lamb, Brussels sprouts and mushrooms, my baby, my outlander, a little bit of bourbon. Can't get mad at me, don't call CPS. Are you gonna call Child Protective Services on me, Elia? We cool? You want the camera? She's licking the lens. This baby, light of my life. We're getting ready for Elia's bath and the bath is drawing right now. What I like to do before her bath is get like her pajamas and her lotion and a diaper all ready. Because it's kind of hard with a slippery baby like to get everything so I always do it before. And actually there's this cute onesie I've been wanting to put on her. Die, it's so cute. Grab a diaper. I put all our stuff on my bed. My Leia never made the bed like he said he would today. So annoying. He used Johnson & Johnson baby lotion. I just used Kirkland diapers. Ellie is in size 3 diapers now. He just started using them like two days ago. Ready for your bath? Shit. I just got here. It's fucking spraying out. Okay. Let's go get a towel. Ugh. The last thing that we need is a washcloth. I'm trying to do all of this one-handed. It's very difficult. Okay, just making sure the temperature is perfect, but we're pretty good here. So I'm gonna put her in the water. Oh, there we go. I let her soak for a while, and then um, with a washcloth, I use like typical Johnson & Johnson head to toe wash for babies. And I just scrub her down, and I let her kick the water until she seems over it, and sometimes it's five minutes, and then it's 20 minutes. That's literally it. She like literally goes down so easily. I don't know how I was like so blessed. She was also pretty tired. It's almost eight o'clock and even in the bathtub she was like rubbing her eyes. So I know that she was like really ready to go to bed. And within five minutes she'll be just like knocked out. Easy enough for the night. I'm just gonna go clean up the mess and then I'm gonna go join Wailia in the living room. I think he's watching fishing videos. Not for long. Apparently the hurricane is like, it's still a hurricane, which means like 90 mile an hour wind here, but it looks like it's not gonna touch down on Kauai. That's what the news says right now. They need more of these, please. There's some over there. But we need more. Oh, he needs more. We also need more booze. We did not get enough booze for the hurricane. You drank all the booze. I know. 
I don't even drink. <laughs> he says that, but he literally like downed half that ball the other night and woke up with the gnarliest hangover <laughs> and was crying and complaining all day. Slept through it the whole day. He was like, I have a sore stomach. And I'm like, well, he had like six glasses of bourbon, so. What do you want? We've been vegging all day, but we're gonna veg some more. There's nothing we can do, nowhere we can go. We're quarantined, so keep you posted. Oh my God, it's starting to rain. Oh my gosh, pray for me. Oh my God, I better go back inside before I get swept away, because I'm a feather. So we decided to watch Emperor's New Groove. Only top quality movies here, just so you know. When Emperor's New Groove first came out in theaters, I think I saw it like watch three the movie. times. You're talking. I'm trying to watch a movie here. I thought you were a keto. I'm keto. Okay, we decided we're gonna take a little nap because I'm really tired. It's not even nine o'clock. It's raining. Show, them, show everyone the face you just were making me. You're showing me. Which face? On the couch, the face of you. Mm. Like, <laughs> look at those acting skills. <laughs> Try to do it even more. I'm so tight, tight. Oh, what a tight, tight, my little baby. Are you gonna keto cuddle? Oh, yeah. My mom. <laughs> We're gonna keto cuddle. I'm gonna cuddle you all night, and you're gonna resist. Ah. Uh, I'm too old to wait for the. Oh, honey, what the heck? God, you're the worst. <laughs> Yay. Turn off the lights out there. Yay. No, go away. Cuddles. I <laughs> Get your arm out from under my head. Yeah. Get away with the baby. <laughs> Stop. 911. Oh, okay. Oh, honey, I'm gonna. Anyway, the hurricane isn't supposed to hit Kauai until 2 a.m., so we're gonna take a nappy poo. I'm sure, once it starts getting really noisy, I'll come back on an update. Okay. Goodbye for now. <sighs> I just woke up. 6.30. Do I have a unibrow? Uh. I don't think there was a hurricane. Come on, Ben, let's go potty. There isn't even like a single blade of grass like out of order. I'm disappointed. I mean, it's a little bit windy, but like, what a bunch of fuss for nothing. Like, we even brought our shoes inside so they weren't on the porch. <sighs> Such a bunch of hoo-ha. Honestly, I'm disappointed. I would have at least liked to see like a tree fall or something. They got everybody so worked up. We literally zip-tied shit down for what? A little drizzle. This isn't the first time this has happened. They're always like, hurricane, hurricane, it's coming, it's coming. Oh my god, tire stuff down. We're all gonna die. It's gonna be like freaking Wizard of Oz. Okay, that was a tornado, but still. And then they're like, oh, oh, it's gonna miss us. Yes, better safe than sorry. Like, I'm glad that we like took preparations, but I wanted a little drama. Quarantine, give me something. Mm.